Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. Today is Thursday, January 6th, and we're here with your morning announcements. If you enter the Reimagine a Book Cover Contest, please stop by the library to pick up your artwork. Just a reminder that the library will reopen this Friday for regular hours. You will need your actual ID to check out library books and textbooks if you aren't with your class. Phone IDs don't work. You can get a new ID made in the library if you lost yours. Pay $5 at the student store and bring a receipt with you. New students get one for free. Now let's pass on over to Dylan Josiah for sports. What's crack a in Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. Good job of the girls' basketball team on their win over Pleasant Grove, 50-33. to And our boys' basketball team was so close but could not come away with the win against PG, 63-56. to Tomorrow, they have a home game against Davis. Good luck, team. Hey, we, hey, we missed three weeks of pro football. Let's talk about it. You already know what I'm going to say. The Eagles are 7-2 and two in the last nine games and clinched the playoffs. It doesn't matter because they're going to lose in the first round anyway, though. Okay, at least we made the playoffs, Bro. unlike the Raiders. But enough about us. Jamar Chase is definitely in line for the Rookie of the Year as he had 11 catches for 266 yards in the Bengals' win over the Chiefs. That puts him at 1,400 yards on the season. And Jonathan Taylor looks like a front runner as an MVP for 1,700 yards and 18 touchdowns this season. He has a chance to break 2,000 yards this weekend against a weak Jaguar defense. As the playoffs come soon, we see some teams making a last effort to get in. The Raiders, Colts, and Chargers are competing for the last wildcard spot, and while the Niners are holding on to their spot, the Saints could be sneaky and take it. You better watch out, Niners fans. In other news, UFC 270 will take place on January 22nd with an exciting main event. Francis Ngannou will fight Serial Gain to remain the heavyweight champ. Ngannou is arguably one of the best UFC fighters in this division with a record of 16-3. Although Gan is the underdog, yeah, he looks tough with a 10-0 record, so it should be fun to watch. Hey, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy National, National Short Bear Day, Wolf Pack.